Yes. Hey guys, so Patrick, thanks for doing the interview. It's yes, awesome. Thank you. Um, and thanks for sharing your story too about like your conversion, like yeah, coming back to religion. That. I think that's cool to be able to do, especially in a community where you know that's not necessarily the predominant view. So I like this, but I get that's a cool. kick at it. I'm like a masochist. I like this kind of stuff. <laughs> Go ahead. Your own, could you just talk about that kind of epistemological point of the package dealing that happens? I think that was helpful for me in clarifying a lot of the things with, that Iron Man talked about. Yeah, so we have a lot of concepts out there. So concepts, think of concepts as like a, a fire folder in your mind, where we, we put different things, and then when we refer to that concept, we open up the folder and pull things out. And, and part of the problem is that, uh, that we have in this fire folder called selfish. We have very conflicting things. So people think of Bill Gates or any rich person, right, as selfish. Why? Well, because they pursued their passion, because they made a lot of money, so that, that's kind of a good thing in a, in a sense. I don't think of it as good, but it's in that file folder. But also in that file folder is Bernie Madoff, right? Scumbag, pyramid schema, liar, cheetah, and everything. So you have in one folder, you have all these examples of, 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 of good things, pursuing your own values, trying to be happy. You know, all of us are most of the day concerned about their own happiness, concerned about their own family. I always tell audiences, right? Your kids are in the pool, the neighbor's kids in the pool, they're drowning. Who do you say first? And everybody says, I save my kids. Now, the only difference between them and me is I save my kids and I don't feel guilty about that. They save their own kids, but they feel guilty about it because their morality tells them they should have saved the neighbor's kids first right? because, because you have to love your neighbor just like yourself. So there's no difference between the neighbor's kids and your kids. So we all have a sense of selfishness. We all pursue our self-interest. But we also think that self-interest is associated with lying, cheating, and stealing. It's also associated with Bernie Madoff. Th that's the culture, right? So we have a problem. Majority. 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 Out that's yes. what I'm saying. The majority out yeah. there. So, so every time you say selfishness, the thing that pops into their head is Bernie Madoff. It's, it's lying, cheating, stealing. It's nasty people. And what Ayn Rand is saying is clean it up. Clean the folder. Right? We need to create a different folder for Bernie Madoff because there's something inherently different about what Bernie Madoff does and what Bill Gates does or what Steve Jobs does. There's something inherently different between being productive and taking care of your life and using your mind to make your life a better than lying, cheating, and stealing. So let's create a separate folder for the lying, cheating, stealing bastards. Right? Let's call it self-destruction. And let's have self-interest clean. Right? Real self-interest, long-term self-interest, rational self-interest, using your reason to pursue your own flourishing. So conceptually, we need to clean up our concepts and, 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 and therefore then we can use these terms and people will understand us. So part of our job is just, just housekeeping.